Hey there, this is Asaf from Opinion Stage. In this video, I'll show you how to create an awesome interactive and visual quiz for your WordPress site using the Opinion Stage plugin. Let's get started. I'll start by going to the plugin repository and looking for Opinion Stage. And we'll install and enable the plugin. Once you activate it, you'll see on the left side of your dashboard, you'll see the Opinion Stage icon. You'll click on that, and then you'll get to the introduction screen. In this screen, I'll click Connect. Now, if I haven't created yet an account in Opinion Stage, I'll be asked for a name and an email. But since I do have an account, I'll be redire redirected to this screen. If I don't have uh, any item yet created, then I'll be redirected to this screen for creating my first item. Now, here I can select the type of item I want to create, a trivia quiz or personality quiz, and I can either create it from scratch or from a template. In this video, we'll take a look at the different types of quiz templates and create our first quiz from a template. But note that you can always do it from scratch from over here. So let's start looking at the different templates. Personality quiz. A personality quiz is a quiz where you start by defining the outcome, and then the user answers a series of questions and based on the answers to the questions, we'll show him the best outcome for him. So I'm going to answer questions to see which exercise fits me the most. And I get this answer. You have a call to action, if you like, and you have social sharing bar. OK, let's take a look at another type, a trivia quiz. With a trivia quiz, it's kind of a knowledge quiz, where for each question, you have correct and incorrect answers. You can see that I can show if the user uh, got a correct answer or not, or, or not. You can also see an advanced text if you like. And at the end of the quiz, you'll get a score, how many questions you got correct. Let's take a look at another one, at a lead quiz. Lead quiz, this is a very popular scenario where people use quizzes in order to generate leads. Now, in this case, you'll get both more leads because the users are very invested in the content and it's a very engaging type of content and also it's a kind of the contact information will be associated with the answer so it's also qualified leads so when i complete answering all the questions i'll be asked for my name and email you can make that optional of course and now in the back end you'll be able to see all the contact information with uh, all the answers let's take a look at a competition quiz another type so in this case, um, you run a competition to your users, and the winner is the person that gets the most correct answers in the least time. You see there's a timer over here. And in the back end, you'll be able to see all the users that completed the quiz with the score they got, with the time it took them to complete the quiz. And here again, I'll answer just the test. the answer. Another one that we could talk about is a product finder. Product finder, you want to select the best service or product. Which product should I buy from or present should I buy my dad for Father's Day? We'll answer a series of questions and get an answer about that. We also have diagnostic quiz template, which let's say you want to ask what, how prone I am to uh, get diabetes. Assessment quiz template. Um, online assessments of all kinds, score template, online tests where you get a score at the end, and many more types. But I think you kind of get the idea. Now let's uh, take a look at one of the uh, templates. Let's say the quiz template, and let's say the, the competition template. Let's say you like this quiz. You can click Use Template. And what that does is copies the template from the template library to your own items. Now you can do here everything with this quiz. You can change the text. You can change the images. You can add questions, remove questions. Um, you can change the different results. You see you get different results based on the points you get. You can integrate over here a lead generation form. You can configure skip logic if you like, and a lot of other uh, features that I won't cover in this video. Once you're happy with your quiz, you click Publish. And now you can preview the quiz to see you're happy with it. OK, let's see, say we're happy with the quiz. Now let's move to add the quiz to our site. The first option is to click Embed and Share and go to the WordPress tab. And you can just copy the shortcode and paste it anywhere on your WordPress site. 
Another option is to go uh, to the post or page and use the Gutenberg block. So we'll look for the quiz we created. So it was a trivia-based quiz. And over here, you can select the quiz. If you see it, you can insert it in, into your item. And here, you've got it. And you can publish. Same thing with the classic editor. Uh, over here, you can see the add a quiz or poll or survey button on top of the editor. Over here, you just click it. You'll see your items. And you can click insert here as well. Now, we have a lot of other options. You can put it in the sidebar. We have special widget for that. You can add it as a pop-up. And you can even create a section the daily quiz, where from our dashboard, you can present different quizzes there uh, periodically. OK, so now we've added the quiz to our site, and we want to track it. So last thing I want to show you is how the analytics for the quiz looks like. So this is a dashboard you'll get. You'll be able to see how many people viewed the quiz, how many started it, how many completed it, the average time they spent on the quiz, the number of engagement clicks in the quiz, if you gathered leads. You can see the answers to all the questions. You can change them here. You can see a response report where you see all the detailed answers with a lot of data information over here at the, at the end. You can see a drop-off report, uh, how many people dropped off at each question. This is, can help you optimize your quiz. You can see the outcome report, how many people got each one of the outcomes, and some more stuff that you'll see in different types of quizzes. So that's about it for this uh, tutorial. Hope you find it valuable and happy quizzing. <laughs>